Okay, once more. Factoring is just a distributive law backwards. X squared minus 5x plus 6 is x minus 3 times x minus 2 because if I multiply this out step by step by step by step using the distributive law, this equals this. Okay? And there are various tricks for factoring trinomials. Um, you can review them on the internet if you need. Uh, now, the denominator here, how does this one factor? x squared minus 7x minus 8. What's that? Isn't that x minus 8 times x plus 1? I think that's... It's x minus 8 uh, times x plus 1. That's what I said. That's what I thought I said. Who knows? It's on tape. I can verify it. I can go back and edit this thing and make it right if I screwed it up. Okay? I wouldn't do that. I make an up mistake. I don't mind. Okay. That makes sense? And this one is... Right? Okay. Now, what's the common denominator? This is two fractions that have to be added. Like, this has to be part of the common denominator, right? Okay, has this denominator got anything that this doesn't? Well, yeah, it's everything, you know, x plus 2, right? Just like over here. You know, we had to multiply by 4 over 4 because this denominator didn't have that 4, but it did have the 7, so we didn't have to include the 7, right? Okay, so we multiply this by... x plus 2 over x plus 2, right? Now, we have to have the same denominator. Is this denominator, has this denominator got anything this one doesn't? Well, yeah, it's got the x minus 8 and the x plus 1, right? So I have to multiply this by x minus 8 times x plus 1 over x minus 8 times x plus 1. Okay? Well, that equals what? Hope I've got room. We've got x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 in the, denom in the numerator, right? That's from this over this whole denominator. And we've got x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 8 times x plus 1 again. Okay? So I don't have room to write out the whole numerator. I'm going to have to... All this is divided by x plus 2 times x minus 8 times x plus 1. Now, finally, and we're a little over time, so finish this up quickly. How do I multiply? You know, analogous to what we did here, we went ahead and multiplied out the numerator, right? Okay? Well, we multiplied the two factors of the numerator. We've got to multiply this, and we've got to multiply this. I'm not actually going to ask you to do that, okay? I might ask some of you to multiply this, I might ask some of you to multiply this, but we, we won't deal with this, because it's going to be a big mess. Um, and it's going to be hard to factor the numerator. Uh, 
how do I multiply x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 2? Well, that F word thing might work for multiplying this by this, right? But we don't use it. We use the distributive law because that's what we're going to have to do to then multiply this by this. Because that F word thing only works for binomials, things with two terms. This is why I don't like it. People understand that and they don't understand the distributive law because that's, this is all they, you know, that F word thing is all they really needed. Even though they use the distributive law in other applications, they don't know how to use it here. Okay, now many of you do, and many of you did learn it, but it's one of the big deficiencies, and I note that at least two-thirds of any pre-calculus class doesn't have a clue about that. Okay? So hopefully all of you are in the one-third. Okay, and then you have to do it here and there for them, so it's a mess. So we're not going to continue that example. I'm not even sure I'd be able to factor the stupid thing. Once we add these up, it's going to be a fourth degree polynomial. But that's the process, okay? That's the process I wanted to illustrate today.